Hello, hi, this is Aditya and welcome to my channel. I've observed that there are very few videos on Adobe Experience platform out there on the internet. So I thought I would do some videos explaining what is this Adobe Experience platform and how can we use this as I learn myself. If you like these videos, please hit on that like button and please subscribe to my channel. So let's get started with the presentation. What is AEP? AEP at its core is nothing but a customer data platform. So the customer data platforms are used to create a 360 degree view of customer. So what is this 360 degree view of a customer and why do we need to create it? Okay, so generally in an organization, the scenario looks something like this. So this is the customer and the customer data is fragmented in different departments. Like let us suppose we have a marketing department. In marketing department, there might be one application for analytics, another application for campaign and uh, inbound campaigning, outbound campaigning. Like that, we use multiple systems in marketing wherein we store the customer data. Similarly, in sales also, we might be using multiple applications where the customer data might be stored. Uh, like what are the orders he has placed and what are uh, promotions he has used, coupons, etc, etc. And even the loyalty data, like uh, what is his loyalty membership and uh, did he redeem any points and all that data will be stored in the loyalty systems. So this is again a different system and different uh, kind of department. And even the customer surveys, whether the person is happy, unhappy, what are the service requests he has raised, etc, etc. So finally, the point is that the customer data is stored across the organizations in different different systems and all that data is fragmented. So the idea is to get all the customer data into one system so that we get an end-to-end -end view of a customer. So how does that end-to-end -end view look like? Okay, so that looks like something like this. So we first identify the customer uniquely. So first we'll see how can we identify customer uniquely in different systems. And then we will stitch all those data together to get this information out of it. So we'll collect the demographic information. What is his purchase behavior and how is the customer relationship like uh, all the orders, quotations, everything has placed and uh, what all service requests he has reached, etc. And what all campaign promotions, coupons we have assigned to him and how many he has redeemed uh, and uh, what all devices he is using and voice of customer is like survey data uh, if we have done any survey and what are the click behaviors like uh, he might be navigating in the product page or he might be navigating in our uh, blogging uh, site so how is he navigating through our uh, mobile application or website or any other app uh, which we are using so these are the kinds of uh, information which is stored and fragmented in multiple systems which we are trying to bring uh, together into one system and somehow uh, stitch all this data from multiple systems into one profile uh, which is the customer profile so that we can get the 360 degree view of the customer. So basically this is the idea behind using Adobe Experience platform. So what are the main use cases of it like where can we implement uh, this Adobe Experience platform and what is it used for? So AEP can be used in three in three of these main use cases. Okay, so one is customer intelligence. So what can we do is we are collecting all these different information about the customer, right? So then after collecting all this information, we can use AEP to create segments out of this. So this is the basic usage. So we have the customer intelligence to be able to create the segments from Adobe Experience platform. Like the segments could be based on the location, uh, country, city, etc or it could be based on the purchase, purchase behavior uh, like uh, the people who have done certain amount of transaction in last three months it could be like that or even it can be based on any of the loyalty information like the gold member uh, etc so AEP will give us an ability to combine multiple of these data points and create the customer segments and uh, we can also send those segments into the external systems like Adobe campaign uh, system and send an emails out of it. 
so if you are if you have already worked with adobe campaign you might already know that uh, uh, in adobe campaign also we can create the customer segmentation so for that we'll have to import the data into the campaign uh, but the problem there is that there is no one record of truth uh, for the customer all right so every time we need to import the data into adobe campaign which is again one of the fragmented system but using aep we are stitching all that uh, data together so there is one source of truth for us uh, about each customer based on which we can do the perfect segmentation so that is the use of this aep and this is one of the use case and the second use case is the customer journey analytics so it's not just about the customer intelligence so the next is customer journey analytics how is the customer journey when he is moving from one stage of marketing funnel to another stage of marketing funnel so initially the customer is anonymous user then he converts into the lead and we do lead nurturing and then finally he become our customer so from the point when when he is anonymous to us to the point when he got actually converted to the customer so what is the journey he is he is doing what all touch points he has contacted and what all information he has accessed we can track all that and based on which we can draw the insights as to what content a particular uh, people in a particular funnel are actually interested in like for example the people in awareness stage might be interested in one two three four articles uh, or they they might be contacting our uh, uh, sales guy for this particular information some insights we can draw based on the journey which users are following so to to get that journey customer journey analytics we use adobe experience platform and this is one of the use case and the third use case is cross channel delivery so here we have got the customer intelligence wherein we have segmented the customer and here we have also known like at which stage the customer is and what all information he might be accessing and what all so based on these two what we can do is we can do the journey optimization so we can say this particular user is in this uh, journey phase customer journey phase like maybe in the awareness phase and he might be interested in this particular content so like that we can draw some conclusions and we can create a workflow based on the like journey and we can create a journey based workflow for him like for all the people who have uh, who are in the awareness stage and who has exhibited particular behavior uh, should get this particular content as an email or this particular offer as an email like that we can create the workflows here and we can actually deliver uh, that message which we want to deliver across the channels okay so these are the three main use cases uh, uh of using uh, adobe experience platform apart from this also since we have created one 360 degree view of profile which is uh, one source of truth any application which is trying to access the customer data can hit this adobe experience platform api and get that uh, and get that data so since we have access for other applications also to use this customer data so what adobe experience platform has done is it has introduced the go uh, data governance principles wherein we can enforce all the privacy rules etc so the details of which we'll see in our coming lectures thank you